Good morning. It's great to be with you again. We are on Monday, November 9th. No, we are not on November 9th. We are on Monday, November 7th. The 9th would be a Wednesday. But it is good to have you here this morning. I don't know about you, but it takes me a few days after the clocks change to find a rhythm again. I hope that that happens quickly for you. I'm a little off yesterday and today, but I know things will settle back in again. But I am grateful for the opportunity to be present with you today. I'm grateful for all of you who follow me live, who might catch part of this at another time, who send feedback, who ask questions, who reach out. I am grateful for this opportunity to serve and to be as helpful as I can be. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and Niantic Christian Churches in Iliopolis and Niantic. I'm the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort for those who may be spiritual but not religious or who haven't quite found that church home that they're looking for yet. And the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. I am so grateful for the churches I serve and the people who are in them. In the last 20 years, 21 plus, I have been able to be a part of this community in Eliopolis and for more than 10 years now, a part of the community in Niantic as well. I have grown so much by being in relationship and serving the people around me. And I wanna talk more about gratitude today. If you want to change your life, in five minutes a day or less, this is a good place to start. I began a sermon series this month on gratitude in my churches, and as I've researched this topic, I have found so many articles and statistics and studies that support the wide-ranging benefits of gratitude. I mean, I knew gratitude was good for us. I knew that it would make us more positive people and lead to greater happiness, but I had no idea the profound physical effects that gratitude had, the mental effects. So let's jump right into it. And I am going to put a link in the comments to the blog so that you can read this. And all of the things I mentioned today There are articles that are linked in the blog so that you can go and check out these studies and statistics yourself. Don't take my word for it. Look and read at all of the research that's out there that I've gathered together for you. So let's jump right in. How does gratitude affect mental health? Great question. Have you experienced anxiety? Have you experienced depression? Gratitude can help with both of these things. Practicing gratitude rewrites the or rewires our brains. It literally changes the neural pathways in our brains and we experience life differently by being grateful. Practicing gratitude changes how we process and view and interact with all of the things that happen to us and that happen around us and that we are a part of. So imagine if you are in grief, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes, or if you experience anxiety, or if you experience depression, if you have trouble sleeping, gratitude will improve all of these things. And our physical health, It may not seem obvious at first, but when we improve our mental health, we improve our physical health. But beyond that, gratitude has profound effects on our physical health. When our anxiety goes down, our blood pressure goes down. The gratitude can affect uh, our sleep. When we experience greater sleep, we have a stronger immune system. Our body gets rid of the stuff that it's built up and that we hang on to. And here's the thing. When we hold on to things spiritually and emotionally, our bodies hold on to them physically. Body, mind, and spirit are all connected. When we get rid of negative thoughts and emotions, when we get rid of grudges that we're holding on to, when we rid ourselves of all of these things, 
our body releases them too. So if you are holding on to fluids, if you're holding on to any of these things in our body, it's going to help. Gratitude will help. It'll lessen these things. And who doesn't want a stronger immune system? I think we all do. So gratitude can help with this. But even further, there have been studies that gratitude helps those who experience trauma. Even if that trauma has been years in your past, gratitude can help with post-traumatic stress syndrome. Gratitude can help alleviate those symptoms of trauma. And if you are in the midst of experiencing trauma, gratitude can reframe it so it gets encoded differently in our brains and in our minds. Gratitude is amazing. It can change your life literally change your life, actually change your life. I have a bad habit of saying the word literally and when it's not correct to do so. So I'm working on that one. Spiritual health. And this is a more obvious link, right? Self-actualization is the fulfillment, the complete fulfillment of one's full potential. Very few people reach this state. Think about uh, Mother Teresa Dalai Lama, the mystics in our different religious traditions. These are folks who have fully realized and embodied and practiced their potential. Gratitude is a big part of that process. You will never find a spiritually mature person who doesn't have gratitude as a big part of their lives. If you know someone that's a happy person, that person is also a grateful person. Conversely, if you find people in your life that are grateful and practice gratitude, they're going to be happy and joyful people. Spiritual health is profoundly affected by the practice of gratitude. The grateful person has an increased sense of empathy. So they're going to have better relationships. They're going to improve their relationships. When you are able to sit in a, and hold space with someone and just let them be. Just sit there and listen to their experience. Not listen so you can respond. Listen so you can understand. Gratitude helps us to develop that within ourselves. Gratitude gives us a greater sense of resiliency and inner strength. Gratitude connects us to the world beyond us, to the universe beyond us, to the God, or if you prefer, a higher power or spirit that created us. Gratitude can literally change our lives. So knowing that, how can we get started? It's pretty easy, actually. Spend five minutes a day being intentional about gratitude. Where else can you spend five five minutes a day and change your life. It costs you nothing. It doesn't cost you a single penny to practice gratitude. So make a, set a timer if you have to. In the morning when you wake up or in the evening when you go to bed or at some point throughout the day when you would like to have a few moments set aside. Practice gratitude. Spend those five minutes counting your blessings. Spend those five minutes um, recounting the good things that you have. And friends, let me tell you, you can spend days counting your blessings. The organs in our body. When is the last time you thanked your organs for doing the job that they do? When is the last time you have thanked your eyes for the powerful visual images they produce? There is yet to be a camera that can capture a sunset in all of its glory as well as our eyes. Our bodies are endless wonders. Start there. Start with waking up and being able to draw breath in your body. There are endless blessings and miracles all around us that we don't always have the eyes to see or the ears to hear or the spirit to experience. Gratitude will help us find more and more things to be grateful for. Second, and this one is, takes a little more intentional work, be grateful around something you don't enjoy. 
Say you got to run a bunch of errands and you don't enjoy running errands. Errands that we run are a side effect of the life we have. We have built this life. With every choice that we have made along the way, we have built this life. And I hope you love the life that you have built. But gratitude for running those errands can change that experience. I may start out not being real happy about having to run to the grocery store, get the oil changed, and drop off a lot of, you know, all of those things. I may not be happy about those to begin with, but when I begin thinking about how they support this life that I have, it changes things. Those are just the daily maintenance things that I do in order to have the life that I love. That helps to reframe that experience. Then when you are recounting things that you're grateful for, say them out loud. Speak them. Hear yourself saying those things that you're grateful for. Or have a journal. Write down those things at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. Uh, have a jar where you just jot something on a piece of paper and throw it in the jar and watch that jar fill up. Every time something crosses your mind that you're grateful for, just make a quick note. It can be a word or a phrase and toss it into that jar. See how that jar fills. Tell the people in your life that you are grateful for them and appreciate them. How does it feel when someone tells you that they appreciate you? It feels really amazing, doesn't it? Be the person that does that. Be the person that tells others how grateful you are for them, how much you appreciate them, and be specific. I appreciate you because, and tell something specific that you are grateful for. That is such a profound practice that not only affects you, but it also spreads that to others as well. So friends, never forget to speak words of gratitude to God, to higher power, to spirit, however you call upon that. Spend time in prayer giving thanks. Say thank you. Say thank you with your words, with your actions, and with your life. That's what I have for you this week. Take five minutes a day to practice being grateful. Soon it's going to spill over into all areas of your life until it becomes an instinct and a reflex and your life is going to change. That's a pretty easy way to go about it, don't you think? Zero cost, five minutes, change your life. That's the power of gratitude. Friends, I will see you here again next week. Please reach out and let me know how I can be a support to you or what topics that you might like for me to cover. And next week or soon after, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into how gratitude can profoundly help us to heal in grief. So until then, be well, friends. Bye for now.